I've been digging through uh, boxes full of old tech stuff. And uh, this is one of the items here. This is an old uh, hand scanner. It worked basically by rolling it over a picture or something, text. And as this uh, rolling sensor would uh, indicate movement, it would take like pictures that are basically a row width and stitch them all together. And it was worthless because you couldn't ever move your hand smoothly. So you'd end up with those uh, waves inside the, your images. <clears throat> Here's something else that's also interesting. The uh, Internet Services Digital Network, I do believe it was. Yeah. It's basically a telephone protocol. I didn't actually use this, but uh, it was better in dial up when I wanted it, but I never got around to using it. This here is a uh, copyrighted in 1995. Probably some bird wolf countries that are developing technology at this moment are using this right now. Something else that's also ancient. Uh, I don't remember when I used this, but you can tell from the style of it, it's ancient. And here's something you haven't seen in a long, long time. Look at that. Extendable antennas. This one really shocked me here. Because all of it's here. No doubt one of my upgrades. There's a mute button up here, whatever that's worth. It even has an extended battery, but the original one will last maybe two or three hours. The other battery just fatter. Double-sided certified diskettes, five and a quarter, 40 track, double density. Keyword tandy. It's an old computer I used to have. This one's getting kind of ancient because most uh, most computers don't have free apps now. It's usually been replaced by a USB drive. This one right here is fairly crazy. It's a TI-30 with an LED display. This one died quite a long time ago, but uh, the copyright here is 1976. It's got your basic, basic functions explained. This don't look ancient, but it is. This is copyright 1994. And I've noticed in it that it didn't actually use the contraction email. For a brief while, it used the um, 
named electronic mail, but never, never in it here has a, a contraction email occurred. It call, calls it, refers to it as mostly as internet mail. support yellow pages. This may not actually be outdated. This may still be out there in, in a website somewhere. But the, the crazy part about this is it has most of the telephone numbers in it. No doubt, nowadays you got uh, email, website, uh, Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook locations. This is all mostly, and most of them are not even toll-free tele telephone numbers. Some of those are fax numbers. That BBS. So here's an email. This one all also may not look um, ancient, but it is. Uh, the 3.0 was basically uh, HTML Composer. Most all these types of softwares are website publishers. Hot Metal is now up to 6.0. And this version here is um, copyright 1996. It's about the time you got it. And it provides these detailed explanations of um, the tags, because they're it's all very tag based. And mostly, a website publisher will do all the tags for you. Automatically. Well, something more crazy. Um, IBM Tandy and major compatibles VGA, MCGA, TGA, EGA, and CGA, or Hercules, include three and a half and five and a quarter inch disc. Whereas DOS 2.11 or higher and 512K is required. This one not too different. Um, IBM PC ATXT or Tandy 3000 or 1000. True IBM compatibles requires DOS 2.1 or higher with at least 512K. Or if you have DOS 4X, you need 640K and two disk drives. The mouse is optional, which is not, I don't know, not so true today. From Spinnaker Software. One IBM Tandy, five core disk, IBM PC DOS, and something else. Graphics card required. Hmm. That's not too different from what we just looked at, but after looking through here, we can go get five and a quarter, three and a half. Dig down in there just a little bit more, and you find this dot matrix paper. USB drives instead of using this old plucky RS-232 business. That's pretty old junk now. This don't look too bad. It actually has CD to ROM drive. I use it in a 2X CD to ROM drive. Desert Storm pretty much indicates it's a little bit after about 91. It had a bunch of uh, stuff in there to work through on the 
campaigns. Probably, it probably would work if you had the right system. I remember this one was, um, when you upgraded from uh, Windows 3.1 to 95, there was a change and it was not forward compatible or reverse compatible. And this one not, could not be used on 95. So your CPU 3 to 6 minimum or MS DOS 5.0 minimum, but it's, Windows would not run it. Uh, Windows 95 are better. The joystick is recommended. You can use a keyboard. But of course, I had one of these to improve upon the fighter pilot uh, experience. Three buttons. All that is not a USB drive. I had one of those deals. Back in the day, this was awesome, believe it or not, but it's, it's big and clunky now.